this screencast I want to show you how you can use the BBC micro bits as a Eddystone URL beacon using Esprino. Now what's an Eddystone URL beacon? You might have heard of beacons and probably most commonly known are the iBeacons, the one that use the Apple protocol. Uh, but Eddystone URL beacons are uh, better than that. Um, if you want to know more about Eddystone uh, URL beacons, I can recommend this blog post on the passkit.com blog and it has a nice summary of the biggest difference. And It says before BLE beacons required a specific app. Each brand, store, event or experience would build their own app to interact with their own BLE beacons to offer an experience. Which is more work for uh, the store, the event, the experience. So say a, a museum would have beacons, they would also have to build a app that uh, shows the information that is linked to those beacons. But now with Eddystone beacons they would just work together with the Google Chrome widget or the physical web app. And me as a user would only have to install Google Chrome on Android or iOS and I would be able to get the information that's linked to the Eddystone BLE beacons. Which is also of course uh, more handy for the people that uh, provide that information because they don't have to necessarily build their own app to show me the information that's uh, connected to those uh, beacons. So I wanted to see whether the microbit was able to do that and uh, when I was googling for that I stumbled onto the Esprino forum where someone asked a question about uh, using the Bluetooth low energy uh, part of the microbit in combination with Esprino and it turned out that um, Esprino has got their own uh, page about using the BBC micro bit in combination with Esprino. Uh, unlike uh, a number of the other uh, program languages for Esprino you need to install some extra code on the uh, micro bits to be able to use Esprino. So the micro bit page on the Esprino website kind of explains all that you need to know says there is a build of Esprino designed specifically for the micro bit. Releases are available from the download page. However, you may also download cutting edge builds from here. Now, if you want to use uh, the micro bit as Eddystone URL beacon, uh, for now you need the cutting edge. Uh, more specifically, I used this one, the version from 27th of July, uh, about quarter past five. So this hex file you need to download and save onto the micro bit. A bit like you probably have done uh, before with other programs that you compiled for the micro bit. That also was a hex file, you would save it on the micro bit. If you do it, um, the light will flash and then you can use it in combination with the um, Esprino web ID. Now if you're on Windows, uh, you need to do a couple of more things. You need to install uh, drivers first. They are linked here as well. Those are the drivers on the ARM Embed website. Uh, you need to download them, install them, and then you can use the regular uh, Web IDE. That's a Google Chrome plugin extension. So you can get it from the uh, Chrome Web Store, just search for Esprino Web IDE. Uh, I already got it uh, installed in Dutch, it says uh, start the app. Uh, if you haven't installed it yet, it will say ins install and after that you can start it. So once you've done that, so you install the drivers, you save the hex file on uh, the micro bit, you can start the Esprino web IDE. From here you can uh, type in code on the command prompt or you can uh, type in code here that you can then save or you can open files 
uh, one thing is similar in both cases you need to be connected to the micro bit so now I'm disconnected and once I say connect it shows me all the uh, ports on my uh, PC on my Windows PC and I need the one that says embed serial port so now it's connecting and it's connected to uh, the micro bit if I then got code in the code window I can send that code to the Esprino or to the micro bit in this case but running Esprino and after that uh, the code is run on uh, the micro bit in this case so you see the code is fairly simple uh, it's a basic set advertising uh, function call uh, the problem was of course figuring out what had to go in that call uh, the thing that you probably want to change is this part not the uh, 03 part but this address it says google so it's goo.gl so it's uh, for the google url shortener and then dccpzj so it's like a url but then cut up into single characters um, so the way it works is that you go to the google url shortener uh, add the url that you want to uh, shorten there and then uh, paste it into your code and once you send it to the uh, the micro bit that is the url that is going to be transmitted um, by the beacon now how does it work if you want to uh, see the beacon on your phone so let's see if I can show you what's on the phone yeah here it is uh, so this is my uh, LG G4 it's an Android phone I got the free physical web app installed um, and it already scanned but I can let it search again it scanned for the URL the URL that was programmed now is the URL for my blog and if I click on it it will open if I click on it, it will open the, oop, the browser and open the URL for the blog so at the moment it just points to the main page um, yeah, the screen refresh is a bit slow it points to the main page um, but you could have a more specific uh, page with information say if the micro bit would hang next to uh, a painting uh, then it would could, could be a, uh, a page that shows information about the painter of the painting itself uh, another way is to get to the information beacon is that you see that in my uh, notification screen there are two notifications that point to the same uh, URL that's because one of them is created by Google Chrome which is installed on this phone and the other one is um, created by the same physical web uh, tool so this way as soon as I get close to uh, a beacon the information will be available in, in, in a rather non-intrusive way uh, and it will be easy for me to uh, just uh, get to that information if I want it now same goes for uh, iOS let me make sure that you can see that as well here we go and open the page here we go so on iOS I got the same physical web page as well it's scanning for beacons on iOS it finds uh, a number of servers on the, uh, on the local network as well but it finds the same tag um, as we had before and it goes to uh, my blog post Google Chrome also has a widget in the start screen you can see it here it's searching for physical web objects and it shows the same uh, URL it says physical web is enabled I can disable it if I don't want to use it uh, but again here it would show any uh, Eddystone URL beacon that it finds uh, nearby 
and uh, then I can click on it or uh, I don't. So let's see how you would proceed if you want to use your own URL. Now in this case I used uh, my blog URL and the Google URL shortener um, which gave this URL. Now say I want to link to a Kickstarter page, I would paste in the long URL, click on shorten URL and then Google would give me uh, another short URL. Now keep in mind this looks like QF1719 but it's capital I 7i9 so it's best to uh, copy and paste that URL now if you go to the web IDE and you would just change the part after the Google so this is QFY7Y9 then send to Esprino it will be sent to the micro bits uh, let's see let's take a look at take a look at Android first and there it would show the beacon again and even in the in notification screens and if I would do the same in iOS uh, here again PuckJS and then in the widgets Google would search it would find PuckJS, uh, the Bluetooth beacon as well. So what is PuckJS? PuckJS is a Kickstarter uh, campaign by Gordon Williams. Uh, he names it. He calls it the groundbreaking Bluetooth beacon. Um, it's a open source JavaScript controlled beacon, which does a lot more then just send out URLs but you could code it with this as well this one acts like a button as well it's got uh, LEDs in it um, so have a look at that site as well if you're interested in uh, Eddystone, Beacons, Bluetooth, JavaScript, Esperino etc. Um, so that's about it for the uh, micro bit as Eddystone a URL beacon. So this is the page you go to with all the information, download the hex file, uh, use the code. I will link the code uh, from the description uh, for this video as well. So you can download the hex file so you can use Esprino. Then uh, program it with the code that you need for the uh, Eddystone URL. Uh, make sure you get your URLs at Google URL shortener so they are short enough um, also make sure that they point to uh, sites that use HTTPS uh, otherwise they probably won't show up and with that you can program your micro bit, micro bit as a Eddystone URL beacon using Esprino. Okay, thanks for watching